Hey guys, how are you? It's your girl Meg. Thanks for tuning in for another video. Today we have something really fun we're gonna be doing. I'm going to test out five really popular high-end products against some drugstore dupes. So we're testing five dupes to see how they perform on the face side by side. So one side of my face is high-end, one side of my face is drugstore. Can you tell which side? But we're not doing a full face. We're gonna just break it down into five different things. I'm really focusing on super popular items that people have asked me to try to dupe and I feel like I've come up with some really great dupes can you tell cuz I feel like this looks really good on my face right now like my, my, my face looks good okay so you're gonna be kind of shook I'm kind of shook but before we get started in this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button let's be friends on social media and if you want to see how what I'm gonna do today what drugstore products that I found that are pretty much great alternatives to their high-end counterparts then just keep on watching Let's go ahead and get this started. I've primed my skin. I do have some leftover uh, mascara, a little bit of eyeshadow, and my brows are on from earlier. I've wiped the rest of my makeup off just so we can go ahead and test these products. So I did prime my skin or reprime my skin after I took my makeup off, and we are going to test some products today. I'm excited about these five products, and the first one we're gonna try out is a dupe for our beloved It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC cream. This is a cult favorite among so many people because it's a full coverage, wonderful base, but also it can be sheared out if you want to wear it more like a tinted moisturizer. It's got SPF. It's got really great sun protection. It has great skin and loving ingredients in it. It's just loved by so many. They have different variations of this. They have a oil-free matte version, and they also have an illuminating version. And we are going to go ahead and just use the regular one. And the dupe that I'm gonna try out today is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup that has sunscreen in it. It has SPF 50, and I've been kind of hearing some buzz on this product saying that this might be a good dupe, so we're gonna have to like figure this out and see if it really is. The shades that I have are a little off. They're gonna look different on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of the high-end products on this side of my face, and I'm gonna do the drugstore on this side. So this one, we're gonna go ahead and give a go. So we're gonna be using the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And this one I get asked all the time, like do I have a good dupe for? And I have not been able to find anything that I feel is even remotely a good like alternative. And if we come out with a good alternative, I'm gonna call this as a win today. So I wear the shade light in the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm just gonna dot this on the face and then blend it out with a makeup brush, and I have a makeup brush for the other side of my face, so. Just gonna add a little bit more coverage until I get it to where I really like it. So you can see that it has a very natural finish. It's not dewy, it's not matte, it's just very natural. It covers quite a bit. So I'm really excited to try this Maybelline stuff out today. The shade is probably going to be a little bit different. I feel like this is a little bit more warm toned. So right off the bat, um, it's not quite as thick uh, right off the bat as the It Cosmetics one. The consistency is different. It smells like sunscreen. The sunscreen in this one is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And the sunscreen in this one is a chemical sunscreen, which is homosalate ox, I don't know. I'm gonna put the, it, it's, it's a chemical sunscreen. I can smell the chemical sunscreen right away, which I don't really love, but that's okay. If it's gonna perform like the It Cosmetics CC Cream, then we have a really great affordable alternative. So the colors are different. As you can see, this 
Maybelline one is a little bit more warm toned than the IT Cosmetics. And this is in the shade 115 Ivory. I was a little confused at first on the shade, shade selection because I did order it online with Ulta. I don't know, I was confused on what to get, but I do think that I got my proper shade. Okay, let's look at my face up close. I feel like the finish is pretty identical. The difference so far for me is the sunscreen smell in the Maybelline one and the consistency of it is a little bit more liquidy, but the coverage and the finish I feel are very, very similar. So we're gonna just have to see how they wear because I feel like people wear this product a lot. I mean, you guys wear it year round, but I feel like a lot of us wear it in the summer quite a bit, at least I know I do. I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer real quick and I'll be right back. We're gonna move on to a powder that we're gonna dupe. Okay, we're back. We've got concealer on. I used my Too Faced Born This Way concealer on both sides of my face because I want to see how the powder performs over it um, and not really like skew the results of the powder. I have two powders. Well, one's almost like a highlighting sort of thing and one's a powder I'm gonna dupe today. But you guys, I'm a huge fan of this powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder and I have it in the shade too. I love this powder so much. You can see I love it because I've hit pan and I rarely hit pan on products. It's just very finely milled. I mean, the description of this product is pretty spot on. It is very airbrushed feeling, looking. It just is gorgeous on the skin. I can use this under the eyes. I can use it all over the face. I'm sorry, I'm just catching glimpse of my face right now and I really think that both sides look almost identical with the It Cosmetic CC Cream and this stuff. I don't know. Anyway, back to the powder. I just love this powder and I haven't really tested this alongside with the dupe yet, but I tested this dupe the other day. I've only tried it one time and I do think that it's going to work out really well. We're gonna see. Look at the shades, they're very similar. And the dupe that we have today is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. So this is another pressed powder. This is in the shade Beige L4M1. And I feel like it's a very similar color match. Um, we're gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the beauty blender and dip into it and set my under eye concealer and a side of my nose. And then I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and then set the rest of my face with it. So let's do the Charlotte Tilbury first underneath the eye. And what I love, I mean, I will continue buying this powder even if the other one's a, a really great dupe just because I, I just love it so much. It's so good. So we're just gonna set the under eye in the side of my nose. And then I actually think I'm gonna do the like this part because that's where my makeup wears really easily in the summer, around the mouth and along the chin. Just really get that in there. Well, okay, we're gonna use this side for the Charlotte and turn it over in the other side for the Flower Beauty. So I'm just gonna do a light dusting of this powder. <laughs> See, I've only used this side of the brush, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna be very careful about that and just kind of dust it on. Okay, now I'm turning my Beauty Blender over to the other side and I'm going to use it in the same way that I did the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm be using the Flower Beauty one. So on the side of my nose, around my mouth and a little on my chin in the same manner. These feel so similar, what the heck? And then I'm going to turn my brush over. So this is the dirt, this is the Charlotte side. I'm gonna turn it to this side. And I'm going to dust that over this side of my face. Just upon first glance, like I feel like these look so similar. What in the world? Okay, we're, and, and I'm just gonna touch these two powders with my fingers and like feel them and they feel so similar too, just like rubbing them between. You know when you like test a powder and you rub them between your fingers, these feel, both feel creamy, finely milled. They just feel so similar. I think this might be a good dupe, but we'll see how it wears. Like first impressions, this is a really 
great dupe. Okay, now that I have my base and brows on, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then we're gonna get to the last three products because two are lip products and then I have kind of like an illuminating sort of powder to use that I almost use like kind of like a finishing powder. I'll be right back. I'm gonna just kind of, you know, jazz up my face a bit and I will be right back and we'll finish out with the rest of these last three products. Okay. We are done with the rest of my face, put some eye makeup on, some lashes, stuff on my face. And we're gonna move on to another product that is kind of like a highlighting product, but like a finishing powder. And it is, um, I used this dupe the other day and I was like, this is so much like that. I think it's a dupe. And so we're gonna try it side by side. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Radiant Light. I mean, I have all of these in a palette here, but I really think this one is gonna be the dupe. And these powders are just lovely. You can use them as setting powders. You can kind of use them as highlighters. They have so many different uses for them. What I like to use them for is if my face looks a little flat, after I've applied my makeup and I have a little bit of powderiness, like on my forehead, if I wanna kinda like, you know, lighten it up a bit or brighten it up a bit, I will use one of these powders. So the dupe that I have for that is this Essence product. It's the Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. They're kind of like these baked luminous powders. They're not quite a highlighter. You could use it as a highlighter if you want it on your cheekbone, but I already put a highlighter there. Again, what I really like to use it for is to kind of like make my skin look less powdery. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna use the Hourglass over here on this side and the Essence one on this side. So I just wanna show you, sorry, I'm like so out of breath all the time. So I just kinda use it on the side of the skin. I'm gonna use a little bit on the chin here just to kinda take, I like a glowy look, especially in summer. Can you see how it, that automatically sort of like takes that to a little bit of a glowier level? See this side of my forehead's glowing? And then we're gonna be using this, I, I have a different brush on this side of my skin. I feel like this product is a little bit more glowy and you can actually use it as a highlighter a little bit more than the other. But honestly, the colors are so, so similar. The finish, like how they feel on the skin feel very similar. Again, I do think the Essence one is a little bit more glowier if you're into that. Now we have got lip products. We've got a lipstick and a lip gloss to do. So guys, I found a Pillow Talk dupe. This is Charlotte Tilbury and Pillow Talk, which of course is one of my favorite high-end lipsticks. I will repurchase it despite me finding a good, pretty darn good dupe. I just love it. I love the packaging. It's so beautiful, so luxurious. And the lipstick that I found after much research is this one from Flower Beauty. We have two Flower Beauty products, which is so cool. And I don't have much experience with that brand, so I'm really excited about it. And this lipstick is in the shade Spiced Petal. So let me put these side by side so you can kind of see how stinking similar. And they even both have rose gold packaging. That's pretty exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk on this side. And the reason why I just love this shade is that it's the most beautiful, warm, toned, pinky, neutral, nude, pinky, warm, beautiful lipstick. <laughs> and then Flower Beauty is going on this side. And this, again, is in the shade Spiced Petal. I will say the Flower Beauty one, this one is technically a matte finish lipstick. This one I feel like has a tiny bit more sheen to it, not by much. I tried another potential dupe in, I think it was Essence Cosmetics. It didn't match and the finish was way off. I feel like the finish is so close in this one. It's just a tiny bit more creamier and less matte. But the way that they went on felt really similar. The shade I feel like is so hard to dupe. It, I, it's so hard to dupe this shade. Everybody tries, but I feel like this is such a close dupe as far as shade and formula goes, especially the shade. The shade is like dead on. I love it. So I'm gonna have both on hand because so I can extend the longevity of my Pillow Talk lipstick. <laughs> 
so good. Okay, the final popular high-end product that we're gonna dupe today is the Fenty Gloss Bomb, and this is in the shade Fenty Glow. I have been loving this gloss so much ever since spring, I cannot put it down. I absolutely love it. It just gives the lips such a wonderful, juicy look. It looks amazing on top of every lipstick I put it on top of, especially neutrals and pinks. Um, and then today, the dupe that I'm gonna try out is the is from Milani, and it's called the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumber in the shade Natural Luster. I will say upon first glance, the shades are a little bit different. This is a darker gloss, but I feel like the shade of the gloss kind of fades as you put it on. It's not really like a super pigmented gloss anyway, so I'm gonna show you a shot here of both of these swatched on my hand so you can kind of see that as well. So you can see that they're a little bit different as far as the shade goes, but what I'm most interested about this one is the applicators are nearly identical. They've got that large doe foot out applicator. You see there? Mm-hmm. And then they both have this like very similar shimmer to them. Don't let shimmer dissuade you from using this gloss because it's not like you're gonna look like chunky glitter on your face. That's what I love about the gloss bomb. It's so pretty. So we're just gonna go ahead and use Fenty over top of Pillow Talk on this side. See how pretty it works with, with Pillow Talk? I think it's just gorgeous. If you love the glossy look, you're gonna love this. And then Milani is going on this side. I will say the formula feels almost identical. The formula. The shade is just slightly off. So it's not like I feel like an exact dupe, but I feel like the formula, the application, the shimmer, the glossiness, like it's the same level of gloss. It's not sticky. It's just straight up gloss. I love it. And that's what I think is gonna make it a dupe. This one feels a little tingly though, I will say, because it's like, I think it's a plumping gloss, so it's, you're gonna get a little bit more tingle. The shade, like I said, is not quite there. So, this is the final look. Can we tell the difference between the sides of my face? Can we tell? I feel like we have some really good dupes today of these really popular products. As a final step, what I'm gonna do is spray my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter. And then we have some places to go between now and the end of the evening. So we're gonna see how this wears. I'm gonna check in and give you my final thoughts at the end of the day, but we're gonna do a couple of close-ups of my face so you can see both sides and how it looks. And then we'll check in. I'll give you the final verdict, okay? Hello everyone, it has been about two hours since I applied everything on my face and I wanted to do a check-in in natural lighting. Just as a reminder, this side is my high-end side and this side is my, I'm like, what's the word I'm looking for? Drugstore. I honestly cannot tell much of a difference. Okay, we were just out. We went to a party where I ate and drank, so the lipstick and the lip gloss have worn. I might have got, I feel like it wore pretty much the same, but everything else stayed put really well. Also, it was raining outside, so I had to walk in the rain. My hair has fallen flat completely. And then um, I'm sure I got rain falling on my face somehow. And then it stopped raining and it was super humid. So I was out in the humidity and the rain and it is like 95 degrees. It's really bad here in Houston. <laughs> if you know, you know. But, um, honestly, like, I feel like we're holding up really well on both sides. They don't really show much of a difference in my opinion. So that's my two hour check-in. I'll do a four hour and then I'll strive for a six hour check-in and we'll go from there. Okay. Hello everyone, it is time for our final check-in. It has been six hours, I'm getting really tired and I want to wash my face. I did apply this a lot later in the day. We went out into the rain and then it stopped raining, heat and humidity. You saw a check-in in natural lighting on my phone. Now we've got some you know, studio lighting in here right now. So it does blur a little bit more than me going out in natural light, but it's dark outside. So this is what we have to work with at the moment. 
Now, I will say pretty much every single thing that we tried out today is a pr pretty darn good alternative to the high-end counterpart. Now, the CC Cream versus the Maybelline Ur Dream Urban Cover, I will say, like when you're looking at and comparing the ingredients, it's not a dupe. Like, you're getting a chemical sunscreen versus a mineral sunscreen in this. The consistency is a little bit different, but if you want something with coverage and SPF and you don't want to buy this, I think this is a good alternative. As far as how it wears, I've noticed a lot more like kind of caking. It wears just a little bit differently on this side of my face. And this is gonna kind of be hard to see, but like it's completely worn off from wearing sunglasses on this side. And the other side's not so bad. The texture on this side I think is more prominent than the other side, but I did use a primer. I did set with powder and I also used a setting spray and I treated this how I would treat, you know, any foundation product that I would put on my face. The CC cream has a lot of like really good ingredients in it, a lot better ingredients. It's formulated really well, but overall, if you're looking for something that's got a high SPF of 50 and you want something similar as far as coverage goes, because I feel honestly, I don't have time for tinted moisturizers anymore, like, or tinted sunscreens. If I want SPF and coverage in one product, like I need it to have some coverage, okay? So if you're kind of looking for an alternative, I think this is a really great alternative. Is it an exact dupe? No. Does it wear exactly the same? Close, but not quite. But I would absolutely recommend this product if this is not in your budget, but I am such a diehard fan for the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm also such a big diehard fan for the matte version of this. I think it's even better. This product never really wears that great on me anyway, so I didn't have like high hopes that this is gonna like stay forever. So the matte one wears way better than on, on me. I honestly think the powders are dead on dupes. They look exactly the same under my eyes. Um, the settling, it's kind of hard to tell like what's the foundation caking and what's the powder caking. But honestly, these feel like really, really, really similar. So if you love the Charlotte Tilbury powder and you want to try a good dupe, honestly, this is so good. These, the Pillow Talk lipsticks and then the Flower Beauty lipstick, Obviously it came off my face because I ate <laughs> and I didn't reapply, but I think this is the closest dupe out of probably everything on this list today. That This and this, these two, I think are the closest dupes. Honestly, so good. The two that are really good alternatives, this is another really, really similar alternative. The shade is not quite the same. This showed up a little bit lighter in pigment, but the effect that this gives is very similar to this. So if you love the gloss bomb and you want a really similar formula, similar, that's not a word, similar formula, then definitely go with this. The shade is not quite the same but I think you'll be really so pleasantly surprised at what a wonderful gloss this is. So if you want a great alternative. And then finally, I feel like these, the uh, Radiant Light and then the Essence Cosmetics Pure Nude Highlighter. Again, super similar. This is a little bit more reflective than this one. You can use them in the same, like they're not like dead on dupes, but they feel so similar. They're a dupe, but I would say out of all of these, the powder and the lipstick for sure are 100% wonderful dupes and the rest are really great alternatives if you wanna save a little bit of yo cash money, honey. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and this test of me doing this for you because I have a lot of fun with these types of videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this. So that's, that's it, that's the end, that's all we're gonna talk about and uh, I really need to go to bed now. Like, I really need to wash my face and go to bed. I would love to do that. Okay, thank you. Bye, guys.